Hi then, here we are in Power BI and this is the Zero for Power BI version 28. Now what I'm going to show you is how to connect a paginated report to this application. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just go back to Power BI itself and we'll just, okay, the first thing is we'll create a new workspace to put our reports in. Zero for Power BI, 28. reporting and we'll just we'll just put it to an ordinary license I've got some pro license uh, premium per user here but we'll just use the, the ordinary license okay yep oh, pardon my spelling error but we'll 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 adjust to that now, here is a zip file, and we're going to extract all of it. Open the executive summary report. And this will open with the Power BI report builder, which you can download from the store. And here we have it. And what we need to do is to modify the data source so that it points to the one that we want. So we'll do that, you just right click on it and go edit data source. Now you have to be logged into your Power BI service to make this happen, of course. And we'll go to version 28, which is the latest one. We'll just grab the data set, now called the semantic model. Go select. And we won't mess around here. We'll just go straight to publish. And we'll publish to our, not that one, that one. This is our empty one. Call the executive summary. and we'll publish. That doesn't take long at all. We'll open that up. And here you have connected to our installed Zero for Power BI data set. options to share it and of course um, we have the 
you've got subscribe to it you've got export so that you can export it and it will export it with that visual with the logo on it so so you can export to excel Here we are. And of course you've got other options to export to PDF as well. So if you want to send a report to someone, these reports are not connected to the data. So once, you, once you've exported a paginated report, it's free to send it anywhere you like. And there we have the report in Excel. And we'll just go back to the workspace and you can see the report is there. And that's about it. It's fairly simple. Once you've, once you've published one, you can publish the other and we'll have some more reports on the way. And you can, of course, create or modify the reports to your own satisfaction as well. So thank you for listening. <laughs>